All right, many of you know that I always say the best trade setups, especially, well, I mean, for anybody, but particularly for newer or growing traders, is those hot sector plays. I mean, you've probably heard me say hot sectors, hot sectors, hot sectors. You know, maybe you've heard my partner Tim Sykes say hot sectors, hot sectors, hot sectors. I mean, that is truly where the best opportunities are. Today, we're gonna to talk about one of the hottest sectors right now and how to spot the next one. So that being said, I'm lead trainer with Stocks Trade, Tim Bowen, and we're gonna be talking about EVFM. And keep in mind, one thing I always say when it comes to trading, I mean, listen, here on the channel, on pre-market prep everywhere. This is about growing your account, whether it be growing your knowledge account or growing your money account. This is about learning a skill. This is learning consistency, growing your account over time. We don't talk politics. We don't talk politics. And number three for the third time, in honor of Candyman, we don't talk politics. Okay, so Understand that this is a hot button issue right now, but that's why it is the hottest sector. Okay, so let me give you a little context, catch up to speed. Maybe you're watching this a week, couple weeks later, a month later. So third, uh, Friday morning, uh, Roe versus Wade was struck down by the Supreme Court. EVFM is a uh, female health uh, birth control play. At the end of the day, birth control stock birth control play. Okay, so we go back to Friday and, I, and I'm not even gonna mostly focus on Friday. I'm gonna focus mostly on today and the future, but this these are the boxes you're checking. Okay, so this thing gaps up big on Friday. We started the morning trading at 30 cents and look at this flat line chart. I mean, this thing had nothing going. Look at this chart for the last two months. I mean, a, a definition of a flat line, okay? They had a big gap down back in late May and, and literally just nothing, zero volume, zero activity. This thing just sat at 30 cents for two months, okay? So now you come in Friday morning, The uh, again, I believe the Supreme Court ruling dropped roughly 10 a.m. Look at the reaction of the stock, okay? It's not flatline anymore. It's not dead anymore. So this thing's gonna show up on all your stocks to trade scans, your volume scan, it was on Oracle Friday morning. Okay, it was on Oracle this morning. It's gonna be on your big percent gainers, your volume scans, your high a day scan. Basically, every momentum stock scan is gonna catch EVFM at that point. So it gaps up from 30 to 45 cents, basically 50 cents. And you might be like, whoa, went too far too fast. Very sketchy penny stock. Good, okay. So this is something you might hear me say a lot. You, a lot of these day oneers, as I call them on pre-market prep, definitely check out pre-market prep. I'm still live every day, 8.30 Eastern. We renamed it Stocks Trade Advisory. Someday I'll figure that out. But anyway, Stocks Trade Advisory, hit the link below. Still live every day, 8.30, just once a week on YouTube. Anyway, so I, you'll hear me say everything changes on day two, okay? So this is, again, very sketchy biotech, biotech, very dubious. So maybe you missed it at 40, 50, and on the run up from 40, 50 cents. Maybe you were at work. Maybe you had stuff going on. Great, fine, good, good. You avoided a super sketchy penny stock on day one. Now what changes, look at this morning, okay? The, as we, this darker gray area, remember a lot of charting packages show it differently. The black right here, this is Friday during the day. The darker gray, is after hours on Friday night. The lighter gray is uh, 4 a.m. open pre-market up until the 9.30 open, then we go back to black, okay? So now you got this big move from 40 to 80 cents. Again, you might say, oh, I wasn't up at 4 a.m. to catch this thing. Good, okay? As much as I'm a big believer in getting up early, I get up at five these days. I mean, I'm a big believer in getting up early, but I get up early to hit the weights, to get a good breakfast, to prepare for the day. I don't think anybody should be, unless you're stuck in some terrible position, should be trading at 4 a.m. So that's great. Maybe maybe you slept until six right there. Stocks pulling back from 40 to 80. And again, you're like, oh, I missed it. No, it's a hot sector play now, okay? It's reproductive health. We had all kinds of news over the weekend. I mean, this is the number one hot button issue again today and probably is gonna be the number one hot button issue into the foreseeable future. So now what you do is you wait for the stock to prove itself. Now, how do we, how do we wait? How do we make, how do we force sketchy, particularly biotech stocks to prove themselves? 
the dipping rip, baby. Okay. And, and again, a, a lot of these may be concepts you've heard me repeat before. The dip and rip is created specifically for sketchy biotechs. Okay. And again, I've done, there's probably 20 videos on the channel. If you join Stock Trade Advisory, you get the ebook where I break down the dip and rip in, in extreme detail. But notice, okay, as we proceed into the open, pulls hard, man. Pulls from 70 down to 57 cents. I mean, that's a ugly yank on this thing but then bases oddly enough do your technical analysis and actually let me let me grab this and i will mark this up because it is a i mean it's just a beautiful example of a stock play that you could have been prepared for over the weekend you know that's what i love about this is most of you are probably part-time okay you could have been prepared for this literally days in advance because you had saturday you had sunday you even had this morning okay Notice how it bases basically at 60 cents. So now you've got that dip in the dip and rip. Then we start trending back up, reclaims VWAP, perks back up, bases for about an hour, and then there you go, right there. Basically 82 cents, okay? Now you got the rip, okay? Now, remember, no trade setup is guaranteed, no trade... Uh, uh, pattern is guaranteed. What's great about the dip and rip is, again, the majority of the time we risk VWAP. So if this had failed, you would have been stopping probably about in that 75 cent range, okay? Basically VWAP. So if you take that rip at 84, fails, pulls back to 75, maybe 74, and maybe 73, typically we look for it to violate VWAP to take the stop. Okay, you lost 10 cents a share, maybe 12 cents a share, depending on where you got out. Okay, not bad. What's the upside? 30 cents a share at this point. And I mean, this is less, listen, this thing's basing in the afternoon. I'm, I'm recording at 3 p.m., okay? Depending on you when you watch this video, hey, it might not be done for this thing. But say you did take that rip, 30 cents of upside for 10 cents of downside on a pattern or on a stock that you knew was in play from Friday, Okay, you knew it was in play from pre-market and you knew it was in play at after the 945 area for that dip and rip. And it's and again, you have great risk to reward. That's the beauty of these setups. OK, the big thing, you know, the reason people bash penny stock biotech so much is people don't have risk management. They don't have good exits. They don't have panic points to take the stop. Beautiful VWAP violation on EVFM. Also, I didn't even know, mention this, but look at the volume, okay? Look at the volume on Friday as well. So what, uh, you know, 100 million shares on Friday when the average volume is 5 million shares a day, okay? 20X float rotation on Friday. And, and I know I keep mentioning Friday, but I think this thing was an avoid for any new traders on Friday. But what I'm trying to give you is the roadmap to know what to look for when you get home from work, okay? When you can do your scans because you're busy, because you got a lot of stuff going on. The signs were all there on EVFM and it repeats and it repeats and it repeats. And I'm telling you, everything changes on day two when you get a chart pattern like this and day three and day four. I mean, remember AERC, okay? Many of you made one of the best plays in months. RDBX. I mean, how amazing was RDBX for like two and a half months, okay? All, so many of the stocks right now, the best days, I mean, and I know I've done like 10 videos on AERC, but I remember, I, 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 this is just such a good example because I remember bashing this thing like nonstop on day one, okay? I was like, oh, I don't know. It's, you know I don't like this thing because... It never holds its gains, blah, 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 blah. You know, I didn't like it. Day one, it went from like two to five, okay? The great thing about day two was, look at this, when you zoom, okay? Two to five. I bashed it all day, hated it. You know what I didn't do? I didn't bash it on day two when it broke that high and nailed it, nailed it. This thing goes from five to 15. I didn't take the whole move, but nailed that I trade plan on that thing. We had an alert at like 5.50 into the afternoon, okay? Look at, I mean, yeah, day one was awesome, but look at day two. And same with EVFM. Day two was 10 times better than day one, and you could have been prepared in advance. The bummer about EVFM on day one, 
Again, unless you're sitting here all day long like I am, I mean, most of you don't have that luxury. I mean, I'm at this computer 12 hours a day, 14 hours a day. You got a lot more going on. Very difficult to find some stock to buy as soon as the Supreme Court ruling drops. Full-time day traders can do that. They, they can be ready. They can act that fast. Part-time traders can't. That's why I love these day two, day three, day five, day six moves. All right, everyone. Have an amazing day. Definitely check out Stocks Trade Advisory. And if you're looking to get really in-depth, jump on the Steady Trade team. I do two webinars a day. Actually, today's Monday. I'm doing three webinars a day. Would love to work with you. It's a small group. It's my life's passion. Check out the Steady Trade team.